right, welcome to Slec front lip install and effectively the last of the modifications. I say that now, but theoretically the last of the modifications to the 1M. I'm uh, cleaning up the front bumper here, prepping it for pictures after I put the lip on. But uh, I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna clean the whole thing up here so that way we can wipe the, the very bottom surfaces down, put adhesion promoter on it and get it ready for the 3M tape. But I ordered this lip a long time ago. I knew it would take a while to get because they don't, you know, no one's gonna stock a 1M lip considering there are only a few hundred of these around. This is, uh, this, yeah, this is OptiClean that I'm using on the front bumper. The car was relatively clean. We had some bug guts and things on it. And so I did an initial light wipe and now I'm just coming back and just finishing up the wipe down. Of course, I don't want to scratch the surface. And so I used a ton of product, which didn't turn the camera on yet. So now we're going to put the car up in the air and really get this underside cleaned well. This is going to have a hard time. Actually, it may stick better because it's been rubbed. Amazing, the front bumper looks amazing until you uh, get down here and look at it under a microscope. All right, so I got this nice and clean with uh, OptiClean. Then we're gonna follow with some eraser. And then I got some adhesion promoter. Get the surface really clean. And any oils or residues off of here. You could also clay it. And then I'll get to the point and show you what the lip looks like. You know, because I retained the rear diffuser in the back, like I don't think this, this bumper really needs a front lip like a lot of cars really need a front lip. But, uh, you know, it certainly can't hurt to have one, but I, there weren't any, there aren't really many made for this car. And the ones that are, I really don't like very much. So I wanted something really simple and clean. So, Slack makes this carbon lip, which will, I think, tie in all the, the sort of the more aggressive rest of the car. Since we have a pretty aggressive rear diffuser on the back, it just makes sense. So there you go. I think the chances of this fitting really well is pretty slim, but yeah, the screws are going to be key because this tape isn't going to stick for squat just like usual. All right, so I think we'll put the screws in first. So what I'll do, like I normally do, just split this here. I'll make a little, little pull off area. Should we wipe it down with adhesion promoter here first, I guess? So here's our little surface cleaner. Shoot. Okay, so let's put the screws in here. Hopefully this lines up. So we're going to be relying on these screws to hold us in place because that tape, just like normal, is going to do rather little. I think I can fit washers in those last two. I put this one in here. Yeah, I got it started or not. There we go. Okay. Now we might have to do some fine tuning here because these are really. I don't know. The other one, passenger side was a little. Yeah, looks like it needs to go. Yeah, let's loosen it up. There we go. How's that side look? Good? Good. Okay. You tighten it down and then we'll pull the straps and hope it works. No, we don't like, I don't have that one. I think I can pinch it. No, I need some pliers. Yeah, got it. Okay. 
Okay, let's pull this off. And this thing hold on by the skin of its teeth. Lucky. Typical front lips. I think uh, I think I need to loosen it again and pull it a little forward or push it backwards. Look, this is not even close. I think it needs to come forward. There's zero chance that's gonna stay there like that. I seriously think having it scraped up probably makes the tape stick a little better. Dang, that looks good though. If that sucker stays. I think I'm not gonna tighten these back ones down. I'm just gonna leave them kind of semi just the way they're at. And don't breathe on it. Let's at least get a day out of it before I come out tomorrow and it falls off. Okay, let me bring it down. Let's put a put some put a coating on it. Man, that looks good. Holy crap. The headlights and the lip. Yikes. Get my grubby paw prints off of it. I'm not going to do CSL. We're just going to put XO on it. Wow, that looks awesome. Got to give me some credit. I know how to do it. I'm taking credit for this one. I don't care what anybody says. This car is legit. I wish I'd have gotten this lip in the beginning. I would have had it two months ago, but they had to make it from scratch. Got some XO. Slop it on there. Call it a day. I want to see what this looks like with the 359. Should we put the should we put the M wheels back on it? Do one side M wheels and other side HREs. We could. Good visual on which looks best. What we'll do is we'll drive it around with the HREs and then we'll do some, we'll do a last final photo shoot, video shoot with the uh, 359s a little later on. That'll do it, folks. That will do it. Can't wait to see Dolores driving around in this. Yep, Dolores, uh, Dolores Schwartz is gonna win this thing. Marjorie, Marjorie Smith. Some 90 year old sweepstakes enterer is gonna win this car. You know that'll make me real happy. One pull into the parking lot. First of all, I won't know how to drive a stick, but one pull into a Walmart parking lot curb and the whole front bumper will get ripped off. Either that or they'll end up selling it for like, they won't know what they have, they'll end up selling it for like 18,000 or something. Cause they'll think it's a 135i cause it doesn't have a badge on it. You have 44,000 mile, 135 I, 2011. Yeah, man. I can't wait to get, get this on the ground. Dude, bro. Look at the headlights and this. Oh my gosh. I'm pumped for this thing. I might even go to Cars and Coffee with this car. This Sunday, you want to go to Ocala? Is there one in Ocala? This Sunday at Chelsea's Coffee. Oh, I'm going. I was thinking about going. I let's, been there in let's do it. Five months. I haven't been there in two years. Take the 1M. I got to get my uh, big sticker that follow me on YouTube, like, and subscribe. Obsessed Garage, bro. I'll put the wheels back on. We'll get the sucker on the ground. It's amazing how light these are, though. Holy moly. Remember last time I almost knocked the car off the lift? Let's not do that. Studs make it a lot easier to mount. I think we need to put some wood on the ground to get this off a lift. Yeah, I think it's close now. Holy moly. Black. I don't put it on. It's not an HRE. Oh. Yeah, I, was, I didn't even I, notice. I put this on, I was like, I want that black, that black, and this black to all. That looks good. 
Yeah. I was thinking for a second, like, something's not right here. I think there's a couple of bolts on the bottom. There are screws I need to put in still. Yeah, there's a couple of spots underneath there I think that I still need to put them. So, quick video, no, I guess no, uh, no screaming or yelling, no cursing or getting angry. So, finally something went on easily and it's the last part. So last couple of things, we need to tweak the tune on the car to get rid of the OBD2 sensor uh, light issue. And then it's done. I gotta do the center console, which I, don't, I won't even make a video on that. But yeah, this car come together nicely. That was this thing, jack pad. I think, uh, I think it's safe to say that this car is OG spec, but I'm uh, wishing now that I didn't uh, didn't do the raffle or the giveaway so early, so I could have a little bit more time with it. But buy more spots, so that way help me pay for that $1,250 front lip there, because uh, this car was certainly expensive. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll have some more 1M stuff here as uh, we go through the month and then uh, this will go to the next person. I'll be sure to, uh, we'll be videoing that as well, the videoing the live uh, uh, selection, random selection of uh, the winner. And uh, somebody's gonna get this thing and either sell it for a decent amount of money by parting it out or uh, enjoying it because it's, uh, it's legit. So we'll get some photos for you. Of, uh, of it. I'll get it outside tomorrow and shoot some photos this weekend. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.